I do be raid any lab session spot, you know what I mean, studio, since a little kid, so they call me the Doobie Raider. Man, family with crazy-ass music, like family that's uh, affiliated with Parliament Funkadelic, and uh, you know what I mean, uh, just mad inspiration with people from bands and groups and shit that's around, I've, I've been surrounded by since a little kid. Hip-hop-wise, it, it, it's actually f a funk memory going back to Parliament. Uh, my first concert was at, uh, at uh, the Palladium in, in Hollywood, and I was on stage with George Clinton and shit when I was like about fucking seven years old, something like that. So that was my first uh, experience where I kind of felt like I wanted to be on stage and shit. It's not a really interesting story, but uh, the homie uh, from Head PE, uh, DJ Product, he uh, hooked me up with my first little Casio keyboard. So that was fun. Well, now it's, it, it, it turned into the Doobie Raider, you know. Shout out to my man, Filiano. He helped me out a lot, you know. Um, get my foot in the door and shit, whatnot, you know what I mean? Just, they, you know, they hear the Doobie Raider, Doobie Raider raids a rhythm, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just, you got to hear shit to, 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 you know, know what's going on. Oh, man, it's all love. It's all, it's all love and uh, everyone, you know, they look up to me and, and they all got high hopes and... Uh, Everyone's down with it, man. All my family loves what I do, so. Yeah. Very eclectic. You know, there's a lot of producers right now. There's a whole lot. Motherfuckers wear masks and shit and all that. There's a lot of that going on. I like to use uh, real analog machines. And, um, like, I have, for instance, I have a Korg Stage Echo. And I'll just, uh, I'll use a regular mic like this. No fancy studio mic. And I'll just mess around and mic up a guitar. Like, even holding it. Like, just, just ghetto, grimy, old school uh, no MIDI. I don't use any MIDI, nothing like that. So I just you keep it on the MPC drums, you know, all analog. It's like that grimy, that old gritty, that old school feel, that old hip hop feel and shit. You know what's up. Now is, is getting people to hear the shit and now figuring out uh, what I was doing before and what I'm doing now and, you know, carrying the whole persona on with how people are going to see me as a masked villain in the hip hop section of life. I want to send a positive message, you know, to kids. And they, they got, you know, fucked up shit with the, the radio and what they play, a bunch of garbage nowadays, and they're trying to degrade the human value system. So what I'm about is uh, spreading some kind of a positive message through music, even if we're on some fucking Psycho de Mayo shit, you know what I mean? We're on some psycho shit, a bunch of cycles here tonight, you know what I mean? So the legacy is what it's all about. You have positivity in your legacy, your shit's going to live on. If you have good quality music in your legacy, your shit will live on. That's all. It's, that's what it's about, man. Man, the Doobie Raider coming for you, coming for your eardrums, coming for your face and your nose bone. <laughs> nah, Doobie Raider raised the rhythm one time. <laughs>